Ed Desk. New digs, same spiels. Homeownership has many perks, and one of them is the ability to tap into lump sums of dough, thanks to the power of home equity loans. A home equity loan means you're borrowing money using your home as collateral, or as I like to call it, that cool way of getting your hands on a bunch of cash to improve your daily life. Awesome home office, here we come. But why might a homeowner need a big old pile of cash? Because life happens, that's why. Major home repairs, high interest debt, and random expensive curveballs happen to the best of us. Sometimes you're like, wow, we really need to add a garage for your classic motorcycle collection. And sometimes you're stuck looking at that back garage going, gosh, I really wanna turn that into a mother-in-law suite, but there's no way I'll ever get 50K to drop on that. And that is exactly why home equity loans exist. Instead of waiting and waiting for extra cash that may never come, you can use the ownership or equity you've built up in your home to negotiate a fixed rate loan. Here's how it works. Most lenders will give you up to 90% of your house's market value, minus what's left on your mortgage. So if your house is worth $300,000 and you still owe $90,000, but want to tap into the equity you've got, here's how much you could borrow. Take your home's value, in this case, $300,000, and multiply it by 90%, and you'll have the maximum amount of equity that could be borrowed, $270,000. Then, subtract your remaining mortgage balance, in this case, $90,000, and you'll see that the total amount you could borrow would be $180,000. A few days after closing, you'll have the cash in your bank account. Yep, just a big old lump sum of cash, but not so fast. You have to pay it back just like your mortgage. There's a payment every month, a fixed interest rate, closing costs, that whole thing. That's why people call it a second mortgage. So you will have a primary mortgage balance of $90,000 and a second mortgage of whatever amount you borrowed of the $180,000 you qualified for. So then why do that instead of using credit cards or a different kind of loan? There are a lot of upsides to home equity loans. It's pretty easy to get one for starters. If you already qualified for a conventional mortgage, you should be fine unless your DTI and credit score have changed a lot since you bought your home. Second, your interest rate and payments are fixed, so you know exactly what to expect each month. Surprises don't belong in your finances. They belong in children's birthday parties or a haunted corn maze. Plus, home equity loan interest rates are lower than other finance options like personal loans or credit cards. And finally, you choose how you spend the cash and you get it all at once. Just don't spend it on depreciating assets. Debt should be used to generate value. Put it back into your home and into quality of life and home equity enhancing upgrades. With all the upsides, there are some downsides to home equity loans too, such as the nature of the universe, all things in balance, with pros come the cons. The obvious one, more bills. Two loans means an extra bill every month, and that bill is usually a few hundred bucks extra. That's a good bit. And just like your primary mortgage, home equity loans utilize the home as collateral to ensure you're making payments. That's risky business if hard times come along. So make sure you feel rock solid about adding an extra payment. You're spending your money. That equity would be cash when you sold your home, but now you owe that to your lender. When you sell your house, you can't collect anything until you pay off both loans. That's fine especially if you're investing in your home, but it's good to know. You have to pay closing costs. Home equity loans have closing costs, just like regular mortgages. These are usually 2% to 5% of the total loan amount. 
Home equity loans aren't the only option if you need cash. There's cash out refinancing, which is when you borrow more than the amount of your mortgage balance and pocket the difference. The cool thing here is you don't have two separate payments. You're essentially getting a new mortgage and rolling your old one into a bigger new one. If rates are lower than when you bought your home, a cash out refinance might make more sense. If your income is consistent, but you need cash to knock out some projects or debt, home equity loans can be amazing. Look for loans with low interest rates, affordable origination fees, and fair payment terms. If that all checks out, go for it. Ready to get an idea of what's out there? Get a free home equity loan quote from Rocket Mortgage. Thanks for checking us out today. If you'd like to see more videos just like this one, you know what you can do. Click right here, and as always, like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.